Rich Morris from the singing drummer. Um, I kind of did a thing. I didn't sing. I didn't play drums. Um, I bought something because that's kind of what I do, it seems like. Um, and I just started to open up the box and I thought, you know what, I should probably make a video about this. I bought a bass on a whim because it was really cheap. Um, and then when I picked up the, the box from the porch, I could tell, I mean, this might be a balsa bass. I'm not, I'm not sure, but it's from a company. It's not a Glary. It's called Taxon? Taxon? Maybe the T is silent. Maybe it's Caxon. Maybe the K is silent. Maybe it's a Taxon. I don't know. But here it is. Um, I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open up the box, and I set up some cameras just to see, just so that you all could see. I don't know which way is up. Well, I don't know if you, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna do this way. Packed with. Styrofoam. Oh, I love styrofoam. You know what? If everybody could just stop using styrofoam, for goodness sakes. Just want it to go away. And it never, ever, ever does. Okay, so there's the box. And now we got more packing tape. I'm walking out of frame because I've got packing tape to deal with. Oh, my goodness, styrofoam. Why, why do they gotta use styrofoam? Ugh. No more. Okay, got it. Are you ready? Now this was $89. Let's see what we got for $89. Yeah, it's super, super light. Um, yeah, so question is, do I play bass? No, I don't really play bass, but you know, I can I can funk out a simple part to give a, a real bass player the idea of what I was thinking of and let them play it. So no name headstock, come on. I don't wanna rip the bag because I'm gonna use it to send it back. I'm already ripping it. Come on. We will fast forward past all of this because this is not quality viewing. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. All right. Oh. Can you? I'm not sure if you can see. I think that there's going to be a little bit of a neck dive on that. It is a... Well, I mean, it's not... Well, let's get it tuned up and see what happens. All right, so we got it tuned up. Um, and really... Outside of it being incredibly way, way too light for a bass, um, so it does, it does hang from right there, hangs back. Um, it just seems really neck heavy. I'm not sure if it would actually be neck heavy or not. But I tell you, um, it's got a an incredibly cheap plastic nut on it um, but the edges of the frets are really well done um it's not a terrible setup um there is some intonations out i i I may have to keep it around here long enough to send it to one of my um, bass playing buddies and just kind of see see what they think. Cause the, but the neck really doesn't feel terrible. Um, it's got your standard cut joint. Let me get in the camera. The standard cut joint right in through there. 
Um, I mean, with the exception of the incredibly plastic nut and how super light it is, it's not a bad looking base. Oh, all of those pots feel really good. Huh. I just don't know if I could get used to something that's just feels way too light. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a bass player, but it's, uh, it is hitting the, the, the frets a little. I don't know, you know what? Here's, here's, here's my impression. Not a bass player, my impression. If you were gonna buy your kid, Mommy, Daddy, I wanna learn how to play bass. I wanna be Gene Simmons. Um, discourage them from that. But other than that, uh, I I would probably get them this. 89 bucks, not a, not a total loss. Um, the tuning heads felt okay. Um, the neck feels really good though, actually. And there's no sharp edges on this whatsoever. I was watching some other reviews for the uh, Glaries and the other no-name Chinese brands, and they were showing the the neck pocket. Um, you can't fit anything. Let me see here. Let me see. I got a business card. I do have a business card. And you probably cannot see this. I I can barely start to get that card in there. Absolutely nothing on this side. It's a it's actually a really good looking joint. A lot of times they're all they're kind of hogged out, you know what I mean? Um so yeah, I let me keep this around for a day or two and uh and let a more experienced hand put a hand on it and see what they think but i just can't get over how light it is just not sure that i like that yeah i don't know with us with a setup with a 35 40 dollar setup you're into a hundred and what 25 bucks another set of strings is what 30 bucks, so you're going to do it about 160 bucks. Could you buy a used bass with decent strings and probably already had a decent setup for 160 bucks? Yep. I think you could. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's worth the time, effort, and money, but, uh, you know, if you had a kid that wasn't going to, that was going to leave it out in the rain, maybe that'd be good. Anyway. Taxon. Taxon. Anyway, I got other work to do. I'll see you guys later.